Hey Mountain TV, this is your Mountain Update with Vail Valley Live. We're so glad that you're joining us and you know we've had some incredible skiing and riding. We're just entering into the last little bit of January and our mountains are almost 100% open. But the girl that has all the details is Trisha Swenson. She's out in the field to give you an in-depth look at your mountain report and your event update. That's right, Ashley. We have so much stuff going up on the mountain. We are about 97% open on Vail Mountain. We've got all the portals. We're here at the Rebublon Express, lift number six. We, of course, have the gondola in Vail Village, the Alliance Head Gondola, Eagle Bond, number 19, as well as Born Free to get you up out of that area. And then Cascade Lift will now take you up to Pride Express. And lift number 26, Pride Express, is open for you to get you up to the top of Eagle's Nest. From there, you can access says Game Creek Bowl and even the Back Bowl. So a couple different ways to navigate around the mountain. And we are seeing some great conditions in Blue Sky Basin. I was just there this past weekend and the Back Bowls are skiing and riding phenomenally right now. Now over at Beaver Creek, we're about 90% open. We do have all of Grouse Mountain open, including Royal Elk Glade. They've opened up that. We have Larkspur, Stone Creek Chutes, still not open, waiting for a little bit more snow for that eastern side of the mountain. But plenty of fun family activities like Thursday Night Lights and the Family Fun Fest going on on Saturdays. And then the new McCoy Park opened just a few weeks ago. That's 250 extra acres, mostly beginning and intermediate terrain. But long before there was the McCoy Park that we know it as now, we had the McCoy Park Nordic Center. So we still have all the snowshoeing and classic cross country skiing that goes on in that area. So that could be something fun for you to do. Also, the Valor Performing Arts Center still has plenty of programming going on. They're bringing body traffic for their dance performance this weekend. You can get tickets at VillarPAC.org. And then other things that are going on this Friday, we have the Vail Legacy Days Parade. And that is when we pay tribute to the 10th Mountain Division soldiers that trained just south of here at Camp Hale. One of our founders, Pete Seiber, was a part of that 10th Mountain Division. So they do a ski down with the torch lights. They come through Bridge Street, kind of a little processional down to the huge 10th Mountain Division statue right near the covered bridge. And then after that, walk on up to the Colorado Snow Sports Museum and learn a little bit more about this famous group. And that's a look at some of the events and activities happening at Vail and Vail Creek this weekend. We'll see you up here. See, I told you, she always has the best information. Thank you so much, Trisha. Definitely looking forward to that parade and of course all those great mountain conditions for skiing and snowboarding to your heart's content. Thank you so much for joining us for this mountain update with Vail Valley Live.